Hello, New Life Fellowship, and those of you who may not attend or be a part of New Life Fellowship, I just want to give a special welcome to you. We have started our one initiative here, and we are so excited about what the Lord is already doing with people signing up for various ministries and various discipleship groups. I just want to share a passage of scripture with you. I love the way that uh, Paul writes to young Titus. And he says, Titus, you must teach what is in accordance with sound doctrine. That's what the discipleship is really all about, is teaching other people sound doctrine so that they can grow in the faith. He goes on to say, teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-controlled, sound in the faith, in love and endurance. And then he says, uh, likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanders or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. I, I, I love how that uh, Paul reaches out to the older men, to the older women, and says, teach these things to the younger men and to the younger women. And so goes uh, discipleship. We have had the opportunity this uh, past week of uh, opening up our uh, small group ministry to uh, New Life Fellowship. And we have uh, six or seven different classes for you to sign up and be a part of. We're really excited about each one of them. And you would have the you will have the opportunity this coming Sunday to sign up and be a part of one of our small groups, or you can do that by going online or downloading our church app and sign up for it there as well. Discipleship is uh, so vitally important. It's the one command that uh, Jesus gave to everybody. Nobody is excluded from the great command of go and make disciples of other men. And so I just uh, encourage you today that uh, you will do the same and that you will take the command of our Lord very serious. And uh, I encourage you uh, just as soon as possible to get signed up for one of our uh, life groups and it will be something that will be encouraging to you. It, it will give you an opportunity to share your story. It will be an opportunity for you to listen to other people's stories that they have. Everybody has a story. And I'm so grateful to know that we have the opportunity of stimulating others to love and to good deeds by sharing the message that Jesus Christ has given to each one of us. The One Initiative is something that is uh, so vitally important. There are five components of the One Initiative. There's the One Disciple, One Project, Next One, One Chapter, and One Person. This coming Sunday, uh, we're going to have the opportunity of listening to Pastor Matt and to Pastor Bev as they share uh, about another component of the One Initiative. They're going to be sharing about next one, uh, serving ministries uh, with inside the church. You're going to love the message. It's going to be challenging. It's going to touch your heart. I'm excited to hear it, and I know that you'll love hearing it as well. So God bless you as you go forward and make disciples of other men, women, young people, and children. God bless each one of you.